Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got these two 2 amper Bosch batteries and there's not a kick in either one of them. See more precisely what I mean, if you try these in a tool, you just get nothing. To show you why this is, I'm going to just attach the voltmeter to them one by one. That's showing 1.94 volts. That is not high for an 18 volt battery. And that is showing 1.96 volts. So that's not high either for an 18 volt battery. In order to restore these batteries to good health, what we have to do is bring the voltage up to somewhere in the region of 16 half 17 volts. Then they should take a charge at about 18 they should power it all. With that low voltage, conventional wisdom would tell you these two are for the bun. But I've never successfully been accused of being conventional or wise. This is where I would incorporate what's known as the jump start method of bringing back a battery. We've all seen this online. I've done this on YouTube countless times. You can carry out the jump start method without opening the battery but I always like to check the individual cells just in case the jump start is not going to be effective and check for broken connections also but I also want to show you how this process works right with that out of the casing what we can do is test the individual cells Nothing looks burst there, nothing looks broken. All the connections are going where they're supposed to go. Yeah. Every cell in this battery is showing less than a volt. That's 0.3 of a volt. And definitely anybody, any normal person would tell you that's for the button. But I would dispute that strongly. Right, what I'm going to do now is show you actually how this jump start method works. This is a donor battery. And now you have to be sure and put the wires on the right way. I'm going to monitor the voltage of the sick battery during this process. And there's something else I'm going to tell you. There is a risk with this, so... Do this at your own risk. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just showing you how it works. And it's up to yourself after that. So you connect plus to plus and minus to minus. I would suggest doing it this way. Because I'll make the connection here. Because if we push it into the terminal not connected. It can burn the terminals. So we're not going to do that. But I want you to keep an eye on this voltmeter when I connect this. See that little spark? That's nothing to worry about. See how the voltage just jumped all of a sudden. I'd say that one has failed. Because the voltage is dropping. That one has failed. So this battery, I put it together and the voltage has dropped even further. So that means, see it dropping again. That means the cells in this are completely knackered. It's over for that battery. I'm going to have a go with battery 2. Battery 1 was disappointing. Right, we're going to attempt the same procedure again and the same rules apply somehow this is 2 volts instead of 1.97 or whatever it was but anyhow we'll not argue with it and the same rules apply and we're going to monitor the voltage differential will you see a spark now there you are oh. You see that? That's been a complete success. That's got up to 17 and a half coming up now. We'll just keep her coming up. But that's been a success. That's just the polar opposite of the previous battery. That one's going to recover. And that's how the jump start works. It brings up the voltage of the cells to a chargeable voltage where your charger can recognize it. Below 16 and a half. 
the battery charger will not recognize it and not charge it and below 18 or 17 and a half and not power the tool anyway so I'm going to put this battery back together and I'm going to try it in the tool to see how it goes I'm going to try this in the tool now to see what it does well it works as you can see the jump start works some of the time but not all the time hopefully that video will help you understand how the jump start method works why it doesn't always work and why you should always be careful so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos